some holiday decorations, festive treats, specialty drinks, glamorous attire, and jaunty music because we are at first ever Jollywood Nights at Hollywood Studios. When you check in for the party, you get a wristband and a lanyard with a QR code on the back or a map. And you can also get a regular map. People are into this. Like we've seen light up dresses, light up hats, lots of flapper costumes, glitter, sequins. kind of beverage. But it's tasty. As long as it's not hair on your face. It's coming back, folks. The popular demand. The beard will be back. No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh-uh, uh, well, you leave that drink alone. What's wrong, Pete? <laughs> I gotta go bet on the ponies. <laughs> Put 50 cents on G-Willikers. <laughs> Getting here early was definitely the right call. We were able to get a bunch of pictures in already, and the party doesn't even start for about 15 more minutes. Then we get a drink. The longest lines are for the character photos <laughs> and merchandise. So if that's something you're interested in, maybe do that right away. This is obviously the first night, so it's going to be a little different going forward. But people have been in these lines for probably 45 minutes now. No, that's not me. <laughs> but if that's your jam, get in line early. On. There's no wait for tower, so some of us are going to hop on that real quick before we get in line. Whew. We finally made it to the Twilight Soiree at the Tip Top Club. We're snuggled up together. Finally made it. That was a long line. Long line. 
fifth dimension rail. They do not look like they do in the pictures. They're all in flutes and they all come out of bats. So they're pre-mixed. Bats. Drats. <laughs> How's yours? It's mostly champagne. Try mine. Mine's mostly rum. It's very, very coconutty. Probably not worth a 45 minute wait. Maddie and Donovan each got the non-alcoholic cider, pomegranate cider. How is it? But yeah, sweet and there's like little pomegranate seeds in it. Are there? Yeah. I ate them all. You ate them all. Cool. I have a feeling a lot of these people are going to be disappointed. <laughs> this line's thick. Thank you. This line goes all the way down here now. It's for the, uh, the Twilight Forest. All the way to the bathroom. The lines for Fairfax Fair in the market were also extremely long, so we bypassed those, and we're going to kind of just swing around and see if we can find some shorter lines. It's been the theme of the night, I think. Long, long line. Oh, Chip and Dale. So cute. We went to Epic Eats and we got the Korean chicken or Korean barbecue chicken. Funnel cake has pickled veggies on top, but I think Michael power through. Want to take a bite, sir? This is what we call a scoot situation. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Oh yeah. We've been scooted. Chunk of chicken. About to go back to the funnel cake. Mmm. Chicken's very good. It's got that obvious Korean taste to it. I don't know what the sauce is exactly. Hoisin? Yeah, probably. Hoisin. But very good. We also met Ethan at Epic Eats. Lord of the Funnel Cake, aka Caden. aka Caden. He assures us that he has made literally one million funnel cakes today, and I believe him. While we were eating our funnel cake, he hopped in line at Gertie to get the cookies. You can add on ice cream, so he did that for the kids. This kid just got a cookie, but he's pretty happy. Good evening, Debbie. Cool, cool dinosaur. The good. This is where the Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along is. Don't think we'll be doing that tonight, but... It's probably fun. Ah. It's time for us to go into the Theater of the Stars because it is time for the Holidays in Hollywood show, which is what I'm really excited about because there's Kermit and this Piggy, whom I love, Mickey and Minnie, who we all love, so let's go check it out. And I hear some princesses are going to be making appearances, so let's see which ones. We have got some cool, fabulous entertainment in store today. We have music, we have dancing, we have special guests from far and wide. And now, put your hands together for Disney Holiday in Hollywood.
holidays in Hollywood! Yay! I am Kermit D. Frog, here with the fabulous Miss Piggy, and we are so honored to be co-hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. Bonjour! Yes, tis <laughs> The greatest gift of all this holiday season! It must be such an honor for all of you to have moi here tonight! Uh, uh, Piggy, uh, I said the honor was ours. Huh? Oh, <laughs> right. I suppose it is an honor for you and the rest of the cast, too. Well, look at me! I'm just honoring everyone here with my presence tonight! But I guess that's the spirit of the holidays, isn't it? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, let's go with that.
show was good. Yeah, that was super cute. And once again, don't discount the Muppets. I mean, the Muppets actually bring a lot of... Yeah. They're my favorite part of the whole thing. Kirby's so sweet, and Miss Piggy is so sassy. Miss Piggy reminds me of someone in this shot. I have the cheeks, but uh, this, one has, this one has the sass. <laughs> So from Fairfax Fair, I got both popovers, the holiday turkey one, which has mashed potatoes and gravy and stuffing and cranberry sauce. That was the better of the two, for sure. The cranberry sauce is tart and fresh, and we loved the turkey. It was moist. <laughs> the mashed potatoes were good. Very, very good. The, all the sides, all the fixins one was also really good. Um, not as good as the turkey one. So if you're only getting one, I highly recommend the turkey one. And we also got the mistletoe martini. <laughs> it's very sweet. You could tell it was going to be super sweet before you even tasted it. And it does have Saint Germain and you know cranberry juice. So very sweet, but it's a little teeny tiny portion. So it goes well with the, you know, the turkey popover cranberry so I don't know I liked it and the line moved way faster than the tip top lounge line went so for what it's worth these lines are super super long some move faster than others it's raining now of course it is no more snow or we'll have mass casualties <laughs> Almost time for Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. But they still have it, so we're making our way over there. It's apparently Dad's first time in a pond. <laughs> I, I smell like a wet dog, so we are quite the crew right now. I'm not sure how this is any different than normal. It's her, it's her signature scent, wet dog. Disney's Hollywood Studios invites you to join us for our Holly Jolly Holiday Spectacular. Get ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell!
clearly the next day we got home last night it was a torrential downpour during jingle bell jingle bam so we were cold we were soaked and chilled to the bones so we came home dried off and went to bed <laughs> so jollywood nights there were things i loved and there were things i loved less the atmosphere and the vibe were awesome awesome hollywood studios just nailed it the entertainment was great the um, jazz ensemble at the tip top club outside of the tower of terror was fantastic um, Rachel and the Alley Cats, they were fantastic. Um, just the different performers around the park were great. The Disney's Holidays in Hollywood show, which is the one with Kermit, Miss Piggy, Mickey, Minnie, um, Belle, Tiana, and um, with some other performers, singers, and dancers. That was great. We loved that. The drinks were okay. Um, the ones that we had were very sweet. I was a little disappointed at the Tip Top Club because they came, they didn't look like the pictures. They came in plastic kind of champagne flutes and I really wanted them to come in coops because I felt like coops would have fit the vibe a little bit more. I'm a coop girl. I like, I prefer a coop to a flute. Um, they're very, very small drinks. The food though. Every, everything we had was on point. The food was fantastic. We The Gertie cookie was super adorable. You have to get one, even just take a photo of it, but it, it, that was very tasty. You can get it with mint ice cream. Do not recommend unless you really enjoy eating toothpaste. <laughs> we loved both popovers. The turkey one, I think, was probably better than the sides one, but they were both very, very good. The Korean barbecue chicken funnel cake, that was very good. I was a little surprised by that. Everybody really liked it. Everybody thought it was delicious. So I have to say all three of the entree-ish, entree type food items that we got were very, very good. I wish I could have tried more, but we'll talk about some of the downside. The lines were horrid. Crazy lines for just about everything. I guess everything except for the rides. If you wanted to ride rides, you could pretty much walk on to just about anything in the park. The lines for the rides were basically non-existent because everybody was in line for foods, photos, the character meet and greets. Those lines were nuts. We, I felt, waited for a long time to get into the Tip Top Club and when we walked away that line was all the way out to the bathrooms and that was two or three times as long as it was when we were in line so that was a very very slow line and i do feel like toward the end of the night the lines may have moved a little bit faster but whew, early on those lines did not seem like they were moving at all so that's why we didn't try more things. Nobody wanted to wait in those ridiculous lines. You know, we wanted to walk around and check out the music and, you know, we enjoyed looking at everybody's costumes, other, you know, park party goers. There were, you know, light up suspenders and light up hats and people, you know, dressed as like Christmas characters, lots of glamour outfits and like rockabilly and flapper costumes, super, super cute. Like that was really awesome to see how many people kind of went all out with their with their attire. That was another thing I enjoyed. I guess I really enjoyed everything except the lines. <laughs> and, and the mint ice cream. So I think, I'm hoping anyway, um, with anything else, you know, the, the, the first night, the opening is always, it's always the worst. There are always kinks to, iron out and I'm hopeful that this is going to be a similar case where as the season goes on the party starts to run more smoothly you know the first days are always busy but it was the first ever so I know there was a lot of excitement um, I think I might try to go back to another one this this year if they have it next year I'll definitely come back because I, I you know, love the jaunty vibe of Hollywood Studios. We enjoyed, you know, the music playing throughout the park and like I said, the live entertainment. I mean, there were definitely some negative things, the lines, but a lot of positives and I'm hoping that Disney can 
iron some things out and really make this a stayer because I definitely preferred it to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. If I had to pick one of the two, it would definitely be Jollywood Nights. The food is far superior than anything you would get at the Magic Kingdom party, for sure, for sure. What are your thoughts on your Jollywood Nights experience? Jollywood. Feedback. I think it started off great, because when we first got there, everybody was excited, it was the first night, everybody had their little outfits on, tons of people dressed up. I mean, it, it probably rivaled Not So Scary in that regard. Well, some people just to the nine, so that was nice. A couple things worked against it that may or may not have been its fault, may not be your experience if you go. One is the first time, first night ever. So what that meant was um, big media presence. I mean, I know you come here for the real news, but uh, the the bigger names in the YouTube world uh, were all there, and that did a couple things. One, those kids and a lot of people who go to these shows. They're not going to rides and attractions. They do that all the time. So that meant there was no deep impression of those crowds. Those people just stayed in the food lines and stayed in the shows and things. So it just seemed like the lines were always long. And I think that was one in part because it was a kind of a media night for the first one. Um, and then other things that kind of worked against it. Weather. Weather was great up until the end, but we definitely got drenched. I mean, drenched. Uh, during the fireworks. It was that last hour, hour and a half where <laughs> things just went awry and I think a lot of people went home early um, because of it. Um, food and drink. What little I had was great, but the lines were just so, so long. I mean, food and drink lines, in my opinion, were longer than they were at the other parties at Magic Kingdom. Yes, I, sure. Uh, and I Epcot Festivals, too. And Epcot Festivals. Yeah. And they moved so slowly. Like, Epcot Festival lines usually move rather quickly. These did not. Yeah. And, uh, you know, particularly down by Tower of Terror, that first one we went to. I mean, I can't tell you last time I waited 45 minutes in, in for anything in Disney, much less a little champagne cocktail. Shows. The show we watched, I thought was good. Yeah. I enjoyed the one with the Muppets. I'm a big Muppets guy. I didn't realize I was a Muppets guy until recently. I also but also didn't know that about you. Yeah. It's brand new information. I, I enjoy Muppet humor. And, um... Fireworks, I would love to see again when I can actually look up and see the fireworks, but when you do it this time, you kind of got waterboarded because the rain was just coming down vertical, right up your nose, in your eyes. Um, so I, it's hard for me to judge that. Uh, it also changed the lasers and projections. It actually made the lasers like cooler because you actually see the water coming down through it, so it's almost like um, rays as opposed yeah, to Yeah, more opaque lines. kind of, yeah. Yeah. That cool. So that was, that was interesting. It also took away the snow. Once the rain started, the snow stopped, because otherwise it would have just been a sloshy, soapy mess, like something out of a cartoon. Um, so we didn't have the kind of classic exit where the snow's coming down around you, and, uh, you know, they kind of cut that off around probably 11 o'clock or so. One other thing about Jolly with the Super the other parties is there wasn't a complimentary snack or type of place where you could go to booth to booth like you could at Magic Kingdom and try different cookies, um, hot cocoa, um, not so scary, always has the candy stations. There was, there was nothing of that. And the mascot was that giant gingerbread cookie. Mascot, giant gingerbread cookie, so... I like would have been missed easy the one. mark a little bit there. <laughs> you could have get out the free gerties. I think that would have been another opportunity. Yeah. Um, for kind of a fancy cookie. Yeah. And if you just gave out one. They did try to make up for the end. As we were all leaving, they passed out little coasters to us, which were nice. But, uh, you know, not, not a snack. You'll just be in a haze. My camera got mad last night. Did not like all that rain. One other thing. Character meet and greets. I was underwhelmed, personally. You know, Jollywood, to me, screams Scrooge McDuck in his little Christmas attire. Why can't Scrooge be at Berry Berry, but also at Jollywood? I mean, they had Mickey and Minnie, of course. They had the usual cast. Uh, Chip and Dale. And then some characters I wasn't as familiar with. Phineas uh, and Ferb. Phineas and Berg? Ferb. Burby? Burby? <laughs> Those characters. Um, Max, the little Power baby line. goofy. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't feel bad about not staying and sitting in those lines. I'm not a big party guy, just in general. Um, I think one of the big draws is that you have lower weights for attractions, and to me, if I want to go to the attractions, I'll just go during the day and, you know, pick 
which ones I want to wait in line for, as opposed to going to a party and spending my time doing things that I can do anyways. When I go to a party, I'm there for the festivities, I'm there for the food, I'm there for the snacks, the drinks. The limited time stuff. The show, the limited time stuff. So when the lines for those things were long, eh, I didn't really care for that. I think it'll be better, perhaps, if you go on a weekday, when, uh, one, when you don't have all the media attention there, and two, hopefully there'll just be fewer people. But I could be talked into giving it a second chance if it was a weekday, if the food and drink lines were shorter. If they smoothed out some of the issues that If they smoothed out some of the things. If they maybe had some different characters. And maybe if there was a, some sort of thing to kind of chase around, like different little non-alcoholic drink, maybe a little snack in different spots that you can kind of go around like the other parties. Beth just swipes the card all the time, so I actually have no idea what we paid for this, but uh, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. It was like $180. Holy crap. I didn't know she paid that. <laughs> um, no, I would I would not do that again for $180. Get out of here. I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming. Sorry I didn't have more to show you, but, you know, it is it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I checked it out. And I think it will be worth the money. I'm not sure it was worth the money the opening night, but, you know, maybe as the season goes on, Maybe buy tickets for a later event and things may go more smoothly then. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.